In this tutorial, I'll show how to do exercise 420, which uh, I forget which page. Uh, anyway, it's in um, level two class, I think uh, week number two. Um, so if I can get it centered here. Uh, let's start with the triangle to the centers of the three circles. Uh, notice these two circles and the arcs around them are identical. Uh, 0.4 typical offset all the way around, uh, with the possible exception of the uh, offsets around the holes here. Those those are made by the circles around the holes. Diameter of 1.55, it appears. So let's start with the triangles. I'll start, well, by the way, I got the dynamic input on, polar tracking set at 90, object snap tracking turned on, and, and object snap set to the usual five. I've, I've turned off the view cube. Um, Again, I've tried it and it's uh, tricky. So I, I pref greatly prefer the 3D free orbit icon, which I'll use in a, later on in this exercise. Let's start with a triangle for the circles. We'll go three units straight down and uh, at four comma two will send us to the right place, but well, for uh, just for the sake of new students, I'll do it in separate lines here. And we'll go back there to close and I'll erase these two. So these are the three points for the three holes of this gasket object. Let's see, uh, looks like uh, everything is done in diameter. So I'll go up here to circle center diameter. Oh, snap at that end point. Small one is 1.5 diameter. And click on the icon again. You can't just hit enter to invoke the last use command. Use the icon again. So it includes the option needed. Snap there again. And the outer one is 2.25. Now, the other two are identical. So once I make one, I can simply copy it over. Uh, di circle center diameter icon and option, both snap there. The small hole is 0.8 diameter. Click again on the icon with the correct option invoked. And the outer one is a diameter of 1.55. No idea why I used Five five instead of six two five or something more common. Let's copy these over. Enter from that endpoint to that endpoint. Can't think of a use for these guidelines anymore. I'll get them out of the way. Okay. Let's. Uh, how about this arc right here? This is a, a fillet radius of one point two. TTR circle will work, but fillet since it's a concave, fillet will work a little bit quicker. We'll go to the fillet icon. I'll set the radius to one point two. Enter. Click. Click. Where I expect the arcs to touch. This is a straight line, so that'll need the tangent O-snap override launched at both points. If you had tangent running alone, or certainly without center and quadrant running, you can do it, but rigging the O-snaps and then remembering to set them back to the five favorites I recommend is probably more work than just using the, the O-snap override two times. I'll click line, hold shift, click tangent. Oh, and by the way, I shift and right clicked. 
Oh, snap there. Shift right click tangent a second time. There, enter. Now this arc out here is convex. So that cannot be done with the fillet command. Wish it would. But, and that is a radius of eight. So we'll drop down the circle fly out to circle tangent tangent radius. We want it to touch yeah, approximately top dead center. Probably be a hair to the right. And we want it to touch the, uh, I got my viewing something on the way here, but we'll click about right there. And the radius again is eight. Let me see if I can, there we go. Not sure, uh, whoa, always something. There we go. Okay, let's offset this by 0.4. No, let's trim it first. Launch trim, didn't quite take. Trim, I believe 2022 by default with the system variable set correctly has everything as a cutting edge. So good, I can click just one point. It's a little risky trimming when when everything you're working with is not visible but i see it worked this time i think autocad's getting better about that all right offset 0.8 these all three of these lines so we'll go to offset right away offset asks for the offset distance different uh procedure than fill it i keep thinking different programmers write different parts of AutoCAD. You gotta learn different procedures for different commands. Uh, let's see, 0.4 is the typical offset. Click there and that way, there, offset it this way, there, and we got choice of either way. All three of these offset toward the center. Now all of these, uh, all of these Fillets here are 0.2. Handout says all six of them are 0.2. So let's launch fillet again, change the, whoops, I'm still in offset. I'll hit escape or enter. Click fillet, change the radius to 0.2. Enter. And now Machine gun all these. Enter to invoke the last use command. Enter, invoke, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Enter. 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 Click, click. Okay, we'll invoke trim again to get rid of these arcs here. Everything is a cutting edge is what we want default of all everything's a cutting edge which is i believe in late 2022 early 22 i believe you have to change a uh, system variable or hit enter so that everything is a cutting edge there's our 2d drawing i won't bother to dimension it let's continue on to the 3d work we will i'm going to experiment here i believe I can use the boundary command and cross hatch with one click and get a boundary or region that can easily be extruded. Let's find out. Go to cross hatch boundary. Asking for click pick point. Pick in here, and it appears to have selected everything, which is good. Hit enter. Now let's go to pre. Oh, let's change our workspace to 3D modeling. Remember the little gear icon on the status bar. There is a way you can uh, set it so it says what workspace is current. Uh, but uh, let's change it here to 3D modeling. 
let's try press pull rather than extruding and subtracting press pull if we're, we're lucky and as i recall we can extrude just this gasket shape not need to subtract shapes away this is not a web in this exercise it's a uh, you know a gasket like a head gasket maybe or click press pull Click in the open area, enter, and nothing happened. All right. Let's drop down to free orbit instead of orbit. Let's try that again. Press pull, click. Okay, now it's saying specify height. Must have. Been impatient last time. This is uh, da, 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 bu, 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 bu. extrude to 0. 0.25. 0. 0.25. Enter. And I just noticed the handout says extrude to 0. 0.25 and subtract the interior shapes. Well, that's assuming you extrude everything, then it's sub subtract away the three holes in the web. But again, with the uh, press pull. I don't believe that's necessary. Now let's move this new solid, a, a nice round number of units straight to the right. And possibly circles and lines and arcs might be left behind. Let's see, I'll hit escape to get out of the press pool. Click move, select one point. One item's found, so far so good. Be careful to creep it down the X polar line, and we'll say spoon seven, enter. Interesting. Left two polylines and three circles behind. Now there's no, I can't think of a use for this, but no need to erase it just yet. I believe we finished the 3D item. Let's do, change the visual style and hopefully these are, in fact, holes. And that, so we'll spray paint it with, say, conceptual. Looks good. Let's do a 3D free orbit to admire our work. I believe we're done. The exercise uh, probably calls for a set of a viewport zoom scale to one third. I'll uh, leave that to a, another tutorial in creating viewports and setting the zoom scale. Now, this is kind of a one view object, so there's no need for a top and right side view. And no need to line them up. So just one view with a note of how thick it is, which in this case, again, is 0.25. We'll bail out with enter or escape to lose the gerbil wheel. Interesting, the cube came back, maybe because I changed the workspace. That's it. And that's exercise 420 in level two, I believe, week number two exercise. Catch you later. Bye.